Hey guys, it's uh, John T. I'm back with uh, news in regards to Jupiter and uh, one of the moons on Jupiter, uh, it's um, suspected to have some life already existing on it and NASA's flyby probe will um, probably confirm that uh, they will probe the icy crust. So it's theorized alien life may exist in the ice-covered oceans of Europa, one of the Jupiter's moons, so questions are piling up in advance of NASA's intended flyby Thursday, September 29th. The Juno spacecraft will pass about 218 miles above Europa's surface and scientists will have roughly 5 minutes to take as many readings as possible. That's not enough time but I suppose they have to make the rate, including use of a device that will see into the ice. That's amazing. Like That's like real sci-fi stuff, man, they're going on. It's almost like, you know, uh, you used to watch Star Wars or Star Trek, whatever. And they would have these kind of devices to, you know, detect all the materials and everything. So it's almost like that, man. Uh, NASA believes a raw card shell is up to 15 miles thick and underneath there's a huge salty liquid ocean. Since there's a lot of tiny creatures that live in very harsh water environments here on Earth, it's possible that this type of life could also exist on Europa as well, NASA says. So, which is... An amazing thing to just think about maybe we can have some bacteria from a different moon from a different planet and once we bring that here it's just gonna wipe off <laughs> it's not gonna wipe off everything maybe it's gonna be useful for something right um i'm i'm thinking about the predator type of thing but no it's not gonna happen like that hopefully so anyway uh, scott bolton principal investigator of the juno mission says the team hopes to come away with a better idea of the ice thickness and learn if there are spots where liquid is close to the surface. <clears throat> I think the word to use is interrogating the ice structure before the below the surface. We're sort of peeling the layers off. So they're just trying to find out what, what exactly is underneath the ice. But this is actually a very nice uh, thing to know and uh, hopefully uh, we get some more news after the probe has passed the moon and so after that we will obviously have some more information if they do disclose that so anyway this is one of the tweets i think or just a post from nasa on september 29 nasa's juno mission will be making the closest flyby of europa one of jupiter's moons is this jupiter it really looks good but i'm not exactly sure what that is <laughs> anyway this is the news in regards to uh, nasa's flyby and jupiter's moons uh, well, that, John T. I'm signing out. You have a nice day. Thank you for listening and watching.